Hey guys, so we're back. Um, unfortunately, I sort of forgot I had this going on, so I hadn't really been watching these. Uh, so what we did last time is we bought Google stock and we shorted uh, LifeLock stock. Uh, so obviously this is an example of what you don't want to do. You don't want to make trades and then um, just forget about them and let them sit for a long time, especially when you're shorting a stock because generally the market is going to increase over time uh, and obviously a short is a is a usually a short term uh, speculation so as you can see we actually haven't lost too much money on this only about ninety dollars and ironically google has gone down so actually we should have done the opposite we should have shorted google and we should have bought uh... lifelock but that's alright it's just uh... for demonstration purposes again this is a free program uh... that allows you just to uh... try out trading uh, before you get any real money involved. So we're going to cover this, and what cover means is basically you're uh, buying the stock back, so you're you're taking away your position. Uh, so we'll just do a market cover. The market is uh, closed right now, so it will actually uh, probably fill the order sometime Monday morning when the market opens back up. So we're going to buy to cover, and just for the same amount of shares. Again, they charge some commission. So we lost some money on that not a big deal um, again we'll go back and look at our Google trade which we lost money on as well and we're going to sell Google so we can um, get off that position as well uh, so today what, what I'm going to talk about uh, is option trading uh, a lot of people hear about option trading about how some people make a ton of money trading options and etc uh, the one thing I want to say is that Options are a lot riskier than stocks, mutual funds, ETFs. Um, basically, you can make a lot of money in options and you can lose a lot of money in options. And uh, depending on which option you buy, sometimes, you know, in, a, in only a, a period of about a day, uh, you can see the option fluctuate up to 50, even 100%. Uh, so you could lose potentially your entire investment in one day. Uh, if you make a mistake. Uh, so again, that's why I suggest uh, getting on here and, and trying things out before you you really uh, get into spending some of your own money on this. So what an option is, uh, very basically, it's a contract. Uh, it's There's puts and there's calls. So a call is the right but not the obligation to buy a certain stock at a certain price uh, and the contract expires on a certain day. Uh, so th that price is usually called the strike price, and that date is usually called the expiration date. A put is just the opposite. A put is the right but not the obligation to sell a certain stock at a certain price uh, with an expiration date on there. Uh, so what that means, right but not the obligation, means if you buy a call and you have the right to buy a stock but not the obligation, and then that stock price increases, you can then exercise that option and whoever wrote the option, you can go to him and say, hey, I have this option. Even though the stock price is now at, say, $200, if you have an option at $150, he has to honor that contract. So he has to sell you that stock at $150. Um, what you'll find is that a lot of times there's really not any stock being bought or sold. Again, it's just an obligation to do that. So uh, whoever's writing the call is actually hoping that the price will go down and if you're buying the call uh, you're hoping that the price will go up. Uh, hopefully that explains it in its most basic form. Uh, so I, I think we should do a little trial here to, to show a little bit what it's about. So Macy's is a stock that uh, they're having their quarter three earnings next week uh, so there'll be a lot of speculation on if it's going to be good, if it's going to be bad. Uh, so we'll look up Macy's, we'll look up options and we'll take a look at what shows up here. So buying an option is a little bit different. Uh, when you when you want to buy an option, you actually have an, uh, the ability to choose from multiple different options. It's not like a stock where you just you're just going to buy the stock. Um, you're actually needing to find an option that you would like to buy. Um, so you could buy anything. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, maybe this is a bad. Okay, so there's no options on this. So We'll have to change our uh, our idea here. Again, this is a free program, so it's not like the open market where there's tons and tons of things. Uh, so let's look at maybe Facebook as um, <clears throat> it's 
pretty commonly traded. And see what they have there. There we go. Okay, looks like they have options listened to. Okay, so as you can see, here are the call options, meaning this is the right to buy a stock at a certain price uh, with a certain expiration date. So I'm not going to go into all the symbols, but basically it'll tell you the stock, it'll tell you the strike price, uh, which they show over here. It'll show you the month of expiration. Uh, K means November, which it is November. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, R, P. But I think starting at M, it means it's a, a uh, put instead. So if you scroll down, as you can see, the strike price here is increasing. So we could buy any single one of these. And it looks like the current price is 4750 around there. And so, <coughs> excuse me. So if you scroll down, you'll see that you then have the option to buy put options, which again is the right but not the obligation to sell the stock at a certain price uh, before a certain date. So let's go ahead and speculate that next week we think the price is going to increase. Uh, so therefore we would like to buy a call option. Another option would be to write a put option, but we, obviously, we cannot do that in this program, so we'll have to buy a call option. And we're gonna pick a strike price that's around the current price of 4750. Uh, obviously, the lower you go on calls, the more expensive the option is gonna be, and then the higher you go above the current price, uh, the cheaper it's going to be. So we wanna pick one that's just above the stock price. So let's pick around, let's say $48 here. Um, and we'll, this one seems to be highly traded. So we'll pick this. <laughs> And so we're going to hope that the uh, stock price of Facebook increases uh, next week. And we'll go ahead and buy. So a contract is typically 100 shares. Uh, so th sometimes this program will limit you due to diversification and stuff. So I will go ahead and um, see what the max we can do here. I was having some issues with my uh, internet connection here, but it looks like it's looking. So because of the diversification rule, they're going to let us, the maximum we can get is 122 contracts, which we will um, go ahead and put through. So total order is about $10,000. We'll submit that order. And again, I will check back in with you guys on Monday to see uh, if the, uh, actually probably Tuesday or Wednesday, so we'll give it some time uh, for the market to, uh, to change uh, and see if it's made money or lost money um, again so the call buying a call uh, will help to see the uh, the price increase so I'll check back in with you then